Gordon, dear, the armored mothership is calling. Your vessel, the Raven, has been captured by the terrorists. We require an explanation. Well, General Bolgo, sir, I, uh, I warned you, they were planning something. You warned us? You neglected to mention they were powerful enough to capture your largest vessel. Why was the Raven so poorly defended? I never thought the Rebels could put that much power into space. The quality of our information didn't suggest that they... Enough! Your excuses sicken me. What threat does your Raven represent? Well, sir, the... Uh, it, it's the only space fighter platform that we, Earth, has. It was designed to project a strike force to any part of the solar system. It can carry up to 20 fighters and has its own defensive systems. Naturally, the Raven lacks a warp drive. Naturally. So the terrorists can now transport a strike force all around your solar system and attack us at will. A very small force, General. A squadron of your fighters could easily destroy it. My vessels are not here to undo your blunders. We will not tolerate such failures, Gordon Dark. It would be in your interest that you neutralize all terrorists on your planet by whatever means necessary. That maniac, Grant. Does he really imagine that his damn freedom force can defeat the Armids? How could I have let this happen? Now, Gordon, you mustn't go blaming yourself. Those terrorists don't appreciate the sacrifices you've made. Why, without you, the whole world would be destroyed by now. And so, my fellow citizens, I feel sure you will understand why these measures are necessary. The, uh, the misguided hotheads who, who call themselves freedom fighters must be stopped now, before they can cause a serious threat to our security and well-being. As, uh, as your world president, I appeal to you to cooperate with the Armeds. They are a, a powerful race who can guide us in our first faltering steps to join the galactic community. The actions of a handful of terrorists must not be allowed to put the destiny of our planet in jeopardy. I would also like to take this opportunity to urge all young men and women to join the Earth Defense Forces. Together, my friends, we will destroy this terrorist menace and prove to our armed visitors that Earth is mature enough, strong enough to take its rightful place in the galaxy of tomorrow. Thank you.
Awesome, I'd like you to see. We picked up this message about 15 minutes ago. When you're ready, Mr. Chavez. This is Lunaside Station Tranquility. I may only get one chance at this, but if there are any good guys out there, listen up. I am Dr. Selena Hudson. There are a bunch of us here under alien guard. Those armits are creepy. Can anyone get us out of here? I repeat. This must have traced the transmission. Cut it off. Well, I take it we're heading to the moon, sir. I haven't decided yet. Sandra doesn't think we should go. If the Armids monitored that transmission, and they probably did, they'll be waiting for us. Well, hell, that's fine with me. I mean, we're supposed to be fighting them, right? My flyers can take care of any armored threat, sir. We can't sacrifice the Raven for a handful of scientists, Frank. What's wrong with taking a look? I mean, if they have set a trap, we can always turn tail and run. That depends on the trap, Frank. Listen, Sander. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll give a little more thought. Well, Bogles, has a message been sent? Yes, Lord. The human scientists discovered our security labs and called for help. Excellent. And has the Raven responded? As you anticipated, Lord. <laughs> These humans are such children. Have measures been taken to ensure the Raven's destruction when it reaches the moon? If I may make a suggestion, Lord. Very well. Speak. The rebel leader Grant may suspect a trap, in which case his fighters could inflict unnecessary losses. So? Well, I have a plan. Well, Bogles, has a message been sent? Yes, Lord. The human scientists discovered our security labs and called for help. Excellent. And has the Raven responded? As you anticipated, Lord. <laughs> These humans are such children. Have measures been taken to ensure the Raven's destruction when it reaches the moon? If I may make a suggestion, Lord. Very well. Speak. The rebel leader Grant may suspect a trap, in which case his fighters could inflict unnecessary losses. So? Well, I have a plan.
Well, they didn't ask my considered opinion on their program of galactic conquest, Captain. That's not what I meant, Dr. Hudson. Obviously, the army wouldn't share that kind of information. What we were wondering, Doctor, was whether you or your party picked up something we could use against them. You mean like vital secrets? That kind of stuff? Yes, exactly. No. Oh, well. Thank you anyway, Doctor. Wait a minute. You know about Mars, don't you? Mars? What about it? Their installation. The Armands have an installation on Mars? For their fleet? Yeah, I guess so. That's very interesting, Doctor. What other armored facilities do you know about? Sorry, just to Mars. Oh, well, you've been a big help already. Thanks again. You do know about uh, the waste dump in the Pacific. What kind of waste? Warp waste. Produced by their warp engines. They can't recycle it here, so they have to dump it. And they're dropping it in the Pacific. Why bother? They could dump it anywhere in space. You dance exquisitely, my dear. Worth every jark I paid for you. What is it now, Borgos? The Raven, Lord. What about it? It has set a course for Mars. You sound surprised. That was my plan, was it not? The human scientists were fed the information which they eagerly passed on to Grant, who is now flying directly to his doom. Our Martian defenses have been prepared? Yes, Lord. If the rebels attack, they have little hope of survival. Leave us, Bolgos. Report to me when the Raven has been destroyed. Keller did a good recon mission. It's a very tempting target. Except for those armored defenses. What do you think, Sander? We'd be foolish to attack, sir. It's the kind of battle we can't win. The Raven has to fight a guerrilla war. It's the only way we can survive. Frank? Oh, I agree. Their defenses look tough, sir. But my pilots can neutralize them. I mean, they got the Raven for you, didn't they? Yes, they did, Frank. But a third of those kids never came home. That was a sacrifice we had to make, but this time... I think the Armands are hoping we'll attack.
I have rarely witnessed that kind of insubordination, Mr. Keller. If the situation were different, you'd be facing a court-martial. As for you, Mr. Kane, when you joined us, you agreed to respect Navy discipline. It so happens that I need your abilities. Otherwise, you'd be in an emergency life pod right now, on your way to Jupiter. Yeah, but we got you the goods, didn't we? Mr. Kane, how dare you? And we prove those defenses can be taken out. Admiral, request permission to have this man arrested. I'm tempted, Captain Adamek, believe me. Now about those goods you've got. Mr. Keller, what exactly did you see? I don't know what it was, sir. Dr. Hudson seemed to think it was interesting. Look, if there's a way of getting hold of that thing, whatever it is, let's do it. If I may say so, Admiral, that would be reckless to the point of foolishness. We have no certainty that this device is of any value to us. And what's more, the Armored won't just sit around and watch us take it away. I think I'll take a chance on this one, Sander. You wanted to talk to me, Leroy? Yeah. You hear that Grant's not going to attack Mars? I heard. Okay. They were overhauling the Raven's engines. That means we're going to be here a couple of hours. So? So, I was thinking. Wait a minute. You want to take a ship and go shoot up Mars? You got it, Junior. This is the Navy, Leroy, you know? Shape up or ship out. We start fighting a private war against the Armids, and Adamick's gonna fry both our butts. Maybe you won't have that chance, Danny. Look, we take one ship. That makes us one target. We can do damage down there and prove to Grant that Mars is a viable target. Or confirm that it cannot be taken out. And then we'll both be out of the loop. Forever. Listen to me, Danny. If we don't go, you know what's gonna happen, don't you? The Raven is gonna buzz around and try to stay out of trouble while those armpits are down there stripping the Earth of every natural resource left. And then maybe they'll fly away, leaving us with a planet that's as good as dead. Now I know why Adamek hates having you around. Lieutenant Commander, are you with me or not? Captain, I have an armored vessel approaching under heavy fighter escort. What type of vessel, Mr. Patronus? It looks like a transporter, sir. They could be trying to remove the device before we can, sir. I agree, Mr. Adamek. I'd like an interception.
I'm listening, Bolgos. The humans have captured the engine. Lord. It's of no importance, Bolgos. They won't have time to study it. I shall send a fighter force large enough to destroy the Raven once and for all. It is what you should have done from the very beginning, Bolgos, instead of devising elaborate traps which never work. I'm afraid you lack the talent required to command my fleet. Your place is on Earth, where you will supervise Dark's efforts to neutralize the terrorists. Ishdul will place you here. This is a red alert. All personnel report to combat posts. All fighter pilots scramble. I repeat, scramble. Be more specific, Gordon Dark. Our recruitment drive for the Earth Defense Forces has paid off. I'm not interested in your toy army. Have the terrorists been neutralized? On that I can report considerable progress, General. Terrorist activity has been reduced to isolated acts of uh, minor nature. Minor? What do you mean by minor? Well clandestine meetings, uh, individuals attempting to disrupt our uh, activities. Uh, Nothing that you need worry about, I assure you. You fail to reassure me, Gordon Dark. I seem to remember you assuring me that the Raven could not be captured by the terrorists. No. Oh. I know what it is. They still haven't destroyed the Raven. That's why Bolgos was transferred down here. He couldn't take out the damn Raven. And now he's blaming me. The General's just a little overworked right now, Gordon. I'm sure he knows what a fine job you're doing. He'll be breathing down my neck. Just waiting for a chance to replace me. He'd never do that, dear. You're the only person for the job. Who else could bear the weight of office? That's right. And Bolgos knows it. They can't get rid of me. They need me as much as I need them. Exactly, dear. They're tracking us too easily. We were lucky at Mars, sir. The army plan backfired because they underestimated our capability. But now they know what it's gonna take to destroy us. We can't afford to get caught. <laughs>
reassure you, General. Your orders were obeyed. No, Gordon Dark. They were not. The terrorists were allowed to steal some of the material. There are no excuses. No. 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 You just have to destroy the Raven. Just send as many fighters as it takes, but don't kill me. Silence! Zartuk has ordered me to die. Oh, well that is a shame. We'll all miss you, Jack. There's something I must do first. Ah. General would understand. Exactly as you ordered, Lord. <sighs> then we shall see the last of the raven. Observe my methods, Ishtul, and you will learn the art of strategy. I'm unworthy of such an honor, Lord. That is very true, Ishtul. <laughs> Captain. Mr. Patronus. A large armored fleet has just appeared on our medium range scanner. They're heading straight for us, sir. Not the ships. I can't tell yet, sir, but more than we've ever had to deal with. Captain, please set a course away from the enemy, scramble every fighter we've got, and ask Dr. Hudson to get our work engine ready. Admiral! The Raven can't take it! Why not stand and fight? Because we can't afford the luxury of certain deaths. No matter how we work. There's the slightest chance we can survive warp speed, and it's our duty to take that chance. Now let's do it. Aye, aye, sir. The armaments aren't fooling around anymore. The Raven has got to get out of here and fast, otherwise we're as good as dead. Dr. Hudson's hooking up a warp engine right now, but that's going to take Wait a minute, time. did you say warp engine? That's right. What you two guys brought up from Mars was an armored warp drive. Doctor's working on it right now, but she needs time. All the time you can buy it. So we got to stall the bad guys? Yeah, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. This is a mission in two parts. The first part, like you said, is defense. The armaments have what we consider to be their main fleet heading right for us. One armored fighter wave is already in attack formation. That means you guys have got to play hardball. Let's do it. Hang on. The second part of the mission is recon. You two lucky guys get to fly armored fighters. We just happen to have a couple on board. We've been saving for a rainy day. Let's have it, Murphy. We need to get a look at the armored mothership. The only way that's possible is to fly armored fighters. You'll be equipped with cameras. Fly right through the mothership. She's big, and she's mean as hell. So watch yourselves in there. We can shoot up stuff? Shoot up what you want. Any questions? 
punch up your mission data. Now let's do it. Good luck. Situation, Mr. Patronus? The ship took a beating from the warp jump, sir. Medical reports heavy crew casualties. Long and medium range scanners are only 60% operational. Mr. Chavez, where the hell are we? I don't know exactly, sir. We're somewhere near Saturn. Chavez, how many fighters do I have left? We lost 50% in the battle, sir. 30% of our remaining fighters are in need of repairs. Flight deck is okay. Well, we're still here. I didn't think we would be. Captain, I have large concentrations of enemy vessels on medium range. Numbers? Can't tell, sir. Looks like the armored main fleet just followed us through warp. Sound a red alert. Aye, aye, sir. Modified a scavenger to carry the payload, sir. Good. The armored main fleet will be here soon, Danny. Mothership and all. The situation looks pretty bad, but Dr. Hudson has a plan that just might work. Doctor? The material we picked up from the Pacific Ocean's waste. It's the residue left over from the armored's warp engines. This stuff is so highly explosive that it makes a nuclear warhead seemed like a paper bag. Somebody blew up and busted. Are the Armids figuring on blowing up that waste dump? What do you think? Anyway, we used the samples we picked up to make a bomb, which I hope can destroy the Armids' mothership. We've studied some materials, including a reconnaissance film. And we have a pretty good idea where her main reactors are located. That's going to be your target. If you can take out the mothership, the Armits are pretty sure to retreat to Boyerwall. I hate to ask you to do this, Danny. You've done more than your share already. But you're the best hope we have. Glad to be the one to do it, sir. We're launching a preliminary attack on their fighter cover. If we find a way through, you'll come back and pick up the bomb. We're not going to get more than one opportunity, Mr. Keller. If you don't make it, it's all over. Captain, sir. What is it, Mr. Patronus? The Armin's just launched a missile attack. Sound the red alert. Aye, aye, sir.
Military genius is something one is born with in Stuhl. It cannot be learned. Yes, Lord. This is my destiny. Great victory!